is Greg Johnson. I'm President and CEO of South American Silver. Uh, we are going to talk today a little bit about the development valuation cycle and, and to give investors a, a feeling for the advantage of investing in development stage uh, companies and being able to participate in the growth and value that often happens as a project moves from early stage development uh, through the various engineering stages towards production. Uh, this gives investors the advantage of being able to participate in more than just the rise in price increase in value which we see with the producer, but also that increase in value that comes as resources are grown at the early stage and as the projects move from advancement through the early engineering stages to the more advanced development stages and towards production. If we take a look at this chart, uh, enterprise value per ounce of silver in the ground, it shows a snapshot of all the development stage uh, companies and projects in the Americas. You can see two groupings of development stage companies. Earlier stage development companies, which have a resource in the ground and typically an initial engineering study. And we can see that today the average valuation is around $4 an ounce in the ground for these companies. As you advance to the next stage where you have feasibility studies, the first development reserves, you see an increase in value as these uh, companies move and the average for that group increases to around $7 uh, per ounce in the ground. And then as a company moves towards production, we can see a dramatic increase in value towards $24 uh, per ounce of silver in the ground, demonstrating that valuation increase from stage to stage. South American Silver as a company is located in this early development stage. We've completed a preliminary economic assessment uh, just uh, earlier this year, and we'll be moving to advanced development stage next year. If we take a look at this same information in another way, the development stage value curve demonstrates these same stages of development that a typical project would move from stage to stage. In our industry, the really high risk point is really at the discovery phase. Uh, often it takes thousands of prospects being looked at to develop an initial resource. And so once a, a resource of significant size and metal concentration has been developed, really a very large amount of the technical risk has been eliminated from the project. At that stage, it's really growing the resource and dem demonstrating the initial economics as you move through the preliminary economic assessment, pre-feasibility and feasibility stages. And as a project is de-risked along this curve, it's not unusual to see companies rise in value two-fold, five-fold, or ten-fold, depending on the resource growth expansion. Also highlighted on this chart, it illustrates that many of the merger and acquisition and takeover activity in the sector tends to happen at the feasibility stage, uh, illustrated by this, this uh, circle uh, in uh, blue on the chart. And this is because many of the large mining companies who need to replace reserves in order to continue their production levels or even show growth often look at the feasibility stage projects as their target where much of the technical risk has been eliminated in terms of the understanding and confidence level in the projects, what it's going to cost to build them, what it's going to cost to operate them. And that's an excellent opportunity for them to look at opportunities for their own growth. So we often see in the industry uh, a lot of interest as projects move towards that stage. For investors who identify quality resources early, however, there's an additional amount of growth before that period in which investors can participate in that growth in the resources from the early stage towards feasibility. And it's often an area that if we look at many of the success stories over the last five or 10 years, uh, the most explosive growth in, re in shareholder value has occurred from that early resource definition PEA stage to feasibility and then oftentimes another big growth as the projects move from feasibility into production. If we look at the next chart, uh, this chart illustrates uh, an example of what the current valuations look like uh, in the silver space. These are the North American listed silver companies. Uh, this chart is, is basically showing the relationship between the size of the resource in the ground, which is the vertical axis, and the market cap or enterprise value uh, of those companies. The different colors represent the different development stages and are similar to the last chart. The producers are shown in silver. The larger the circle size represents the higher premium uh, that the tr companies trade at in the marketplace in terms of their market multiple. And what we can see is that these companies, though there's a bit of spread, they do cluster in, in patterns. And we can see there's a definite relationship between the size of the resource and the market value of the company. Uh, to the far right on the chart, we can see the clustering of the silver companies that represent the producers. Uh, to the left of those companies, we can see the advanced development stage, which you would anticipate would typically trade at a lesser valuation point for the same size resource because there still remains risk. Uh, these projects need to be uh, financed and constructed before they start producing cash flow. To 
to the left of that, shown in the green color, are the earlier development stage companies. You can see there's a bit more spread here on the chart. This reflects the market efficiency in terms of understanding valuations and the broader number of names that are in the marketplace here. If we take a look at an example of South American silver from where we uh, currently trade, you can see at about 80 cents an ounce, uh, because of the very large size of our resource, we're up in the upper left-hand side of this curve. What we've demonstrated here on the chart is as you move from stage to stage, if we were to achieve an average valuation for the early development stage as we advance the project, it suggests a market cap much higher than our, our current valuation. As we move into the advanced development stage, it suggests a company with a market cap uh, of over a billion dollars. And as we move into production, it suggests a company similar in size to, say, Coeur d'Alene or Hecla Mining uh, with a multi-billion dollar valuation. This gives investors a roadmap that really demonstrates the valuation potential uh, as the company executes on its business plan, as it's able to successfully advance the project from stage to stage, and really give an investors an example of what would the company be valued today if it could achieve an average valuation. I might just point out that our project is much larger than average. The economics demonstrate uh, in this most recently published preliminary economic assessment, a project that has greater than average uh, production potential. And our studies indicate that it has considerable potential to continue to expand and grow the resource. And we believe, therefore, uh, drive enhanced shareholder value going forward.